Hi everyone, Richard Carlton here. In this video, we're going to be discussing barcode scan devices with your FileMaker database. Now this scan device here we've used a lot with Mac and Windows and it would probably work on an iOS device, but that was not really our intent. The easiest implementation of laser barcode readers is to have a scan device that's actually attached to your Mac or Windows computer and the way it works is that, for those of you who have not done this with FileMaker yet, is that you're actually going to have a script. This is a field on your screen. You're going to have a button up here that says something like scan now or something like that. You're going to press the button and what that does is basically puts the cursor into this field so it's blinking. And then you use the wireless barcode scanning device to go out and capture it and it beams it to the computer like it was a keyboard, like someone typed at really high speed on the keyboard, which is why it's so cool. It looks and acts like a keyboard. The computer thinks it's a keyboard. And so then what happens is this device types out the, the string of information and then it puts a return character behind it. And so it goes A, B, C, 1, 5, 3, 1, whatever. And then it puts a return character. And what we do is in the database, we actually go into the inspector and we say, allow the field to navigate forward by using the return key. And that actually allows FileMaker then to know to jump to the next field. So then what we have is a return key that makes it go forward, right? And then we put a script trigger on this object. On object exit is a good one. And so when it exits, it runs a script to determine if it was a valid scan, etc., and what should it do from there. So it's all automated. So it's very simple to set up. This device is the uh, new scan, NU scan 4100B. It's a newer model than what we did in our video training course. Our video training course has one that's tethered to the USB. This one here, you can actually step away from the laptop if you're in the warehouse. And of course, the customer was trying to figure out how far they wanted to be from the forklift, which had the laptop on it, I guess kind of a ruggedized laptop, and then they would be scanning and they could see the screen and maybe hear a beep or actually make the font really big to say it was valid so they could see it from 10 or 20 feet away. So this is an inexpensive alternative to having a barcode scan device that's built into your iPhone or iPad. The iPhone or iPad is super cool, but it costs like five times the amount of money, at least for the name brand uh, units. So there you go. I appreciate it. I'm Richard, and I'll see you next week. It's a brand of barcode uh, scan guns, right? I mean, you're not supposed to use the word gun because people will freak out. Gun! Anyway, um, so, uh, sorry. Do I keep that? <laughs> it's a gun. So, it's a scan gun. So, it's a scanning device that looks suspiciously like a pistoli. Right? Scan gun, or scan reader device thingy, uh, will apparently... I'm this up. I'm really this up. This whole thing's a goddamn mess. It's a f the problem is that you're going to take free. Just cancel that. 